Hello, Divine Masculines. I'm on my bed because I'm too lazy to use the table. Hooray. Anyway, I want to do yours. I would have done all three of y'all's at once, but, you know, my phone updated, so it doesn't work anymore. So I just have to suffer with it. And so do you, but hopefully the videos will be shorter, so we should be good. So we are going to do a reading for you, Divine Masculine, and see... What you all are a dealing with. Aha, uh -huh. oh dear. Oh, well, transformation, change, death of the old and in with the new. That's always good. No wins. Okay. Let's see. Two of Pentacles and. Oh, there's you. All reversed. You got choices, but you're still being like. <laughs> With your face and such. But now you got your arms crossed and your beard is not as gray. You're in a very young position right here. But you're acting slightly younger. Or just more stubborn. One of the two. Um, what your thoughts are. You don't want to come out and say something with the high priestess. But there is this idea of a new start going on in your head. Something related to that, right? Then we have... Oh... Ten of Swords Reverse, I guess you're going to be a witness to some sort of betrayal right before your eyes as well. Something. Oh, and here's the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh. And then there's the Ten of Wands Reverse. A stagnant burden. Something that will not let up. What's your vibration? You're not waiting. Not waiting. It almost showed it up. Showed it. It almost showed up upright. But there's this energy now. I'm not waiting. Three of wands are worse. You're done. Um, you're finished. Maybe you're not going to practice some patience anymore. You just want to go ahead and get something else done. And you're just finished with this entire project whatsoever. Two of those cards um, came up for the karmic reading. Actually. So maybe this will be more clarification on this end. So, masculines, we have the two of pentacles right here for you. You're trying to come to some decision about some options. Look them over, right? Possibly making a slow but steady offer, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This, this happened for the karmic as well. Oh, there's more one card. Okay. That one's face down, so good. Yeah, trying to get over some heartbreak, are you? Or you have healed from that already. Um, I feel like you want to travel a little bit. I almost put that back in the deck. Jesus. <laughs> um, that you want to um, establish yourself as well. But everything is still a little bit unbalanced, possibly dealing with the Libra or has some Libra energy. Like you're trying to go through your options in order to figure out how you're going to get somewhere, possibly to a King of Pentacles. Also, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo's card. I would say more like Virgo because of the duck face, but that's just me. Um, there might be some underlying to the Ten of Swords because there it is once again. Something to do with that betrayal that was right there, right? Then we have you. Divine Masculine as the Emperor, reversed. Just doing what you do with your arms crossed and being like, mm, and shit. Just, just always mean mugging. There's a, there's a feeling of not wanting to defend yourself or wanting to give up on something or just releasing something with the Seven of Wands, reversed. Mm. Who are you not waiting on? Trying to give up. On coming back in from the cold. Or are you giving up and now you want to come back in from the cold? No, no. You're giving up on it. You don't think that there's anything to come of it now. Which is just like, you know. Hmm. 
Yeah, you, you definitely feel like you don't want to work on it. I think this is what's behind the High Priestess Reverse. She's not saying this, that she doesn't want to work on something, right? But she is mentioning a Queen of Pentacles, the Hermit Reverse and the Magician Reverse, which is like, this could also be you, masculine, but it could be anybody, really. Um... But this Queen of Pentacles is sitting alone by herself. And I feel like she's almost coming out of isolation. But then anyway, we got this magician of reverse right here. Like, usually I say, like, the hermit reverse is, like, someone's isolating themselves for bad. But I don't think she's doing that. Because she's out in the open just enjoying her own space. I don't think she's isolated anymore. But it's like... It's like, what's with this magician reverse? Like... Like, what is, like, I don't understand what she has, what. Like, the High Priestess is talking about this woman. Coming out of her isolation. But also mentioning a lack of manifestation or a lack of, um. I don't know, productivity, feeling like she, like there's failure in this, or like that was the person who manipulated all this kind of stuff to happen. I mean, I'm not sure entirely with that thought, because that's just like, why would that be, do you feel like the magician would not allow it to happen? Or the magician is against you? Divine masculine, because I don't, I don't understand the magician. It's like you have this thought about some secret that has to do with a Queen of Pentacles. Could be Capricorn, because it's Capricorn's court card. Also, um, Virgo or Taurus, right? Then there is this new beginning in your thoughts too. You're keeping a guard on it, very close to your chest, being very insecure about this dream of a new beginning, right? And, <laughs> yeah, it, like, you're just wasting your own time and letting this be a burden, like, you know. Or just looking back on it and everything you think about is just, like, it bothers you. Looking back at what you've put in with the, uh, Seven of Pentacles. I am so blurry, Jesus. There we go. That's a little better. Okay, so. Wow, yours is way shorter than Karmic's. Um, that actually helped me out a lot. Like, okay, so. You know, how long are you going to stay stubborn to the point where you're going to lose whoever it, or just like infer like the queen of pentacles could be like divine feminine because she is the senior court card she's the most mature but it's like eh, it, she really doesn't have to be but it's like someone's sitting in their solitude someone's trying to come out of their solitude but this is, like, throwing me out. It's, like, I mean, like, sometimes, like, for me, Magician Reverse is, like, someone manifested something not so good. You know? That's nice. Get the dots off my screen. But, yes, it's, like, someone didn't manifest something um, to work in their favor. It, it, yeah. Like, kind of like that. Like, something happened that caused... Almost this person to have to like go isolate themselves and then come out of it. Like they had to come out mature. I almost feel like I almost feel like that's what it is. But there's still this secret back here where it's like it doesn't want to work on anything. So it's like, what is this masculine? What is it you don't want to work on? But you're gonna present yourself as like is that what you're doing? Is you are you trying to present yourself as someone who came out of the woodwork as a much more um develop person but in reality like no like y y you haven't done much of anything at all 
But you're not going to say that? You, know, you can always do the work if you really feel like it, you know, like, no one's stopping you from having this. Like, except for you. You're the only one who's stopping yourself. Like, you keep listening to everything Karmic says, and it's just like, we got the Ten of Swords right here. It's the Ten of Swords, pretty much self-sabotage, getting betrayed right before your eyes, having witnesses, even witness this, and then just turn a blind eye to it. It's basically, it could also be like you stabbed your own self in the back. Um, there's some truth in this with the, um... King of Swords, reverse. Well, he's not reversed. He's upright. Never mind. I don't know why I said reverse, but, uh... Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or it's just vibe, right? Someone might tell the truth about it. Like, someone might be cold, distant, reserved, not really... Um, they, they don't have a bad attitude, but they're very matter-of-fact about everything. Um, but they don't want to talk about commitment. They run away from commitment. They don't like commitment. You know, they might even say, like, that might be the act, that might actually be your problem, masculines. Um, the only reason why you hurt yourself, because this is like self-sabotage, betrayal right before your eyes and stuff. Um, but I think you did this to yourself, which you, you kind of did. To be fair, um, you were cold and distant now because you just didn't want to commit. You just ran away. You didn't say a word, like ghosted or whatever. I guess people call it. We got this Ace of Pentacles right here. What you gonna do about that? Oh, I'm so gonna crash. <laughs> Someone's making an offer. Yay. Ooh, about a potential home full of happiness, completion, that legacy, that family lineage, right? Oh, but I got three cards. That's fine. I'll just put an extra one down. Um. But there's a lot of regrets and mulling over a missed opportunity when it came to working on something with somebody and not offering the cup. Like someone's offering an offer, but they're actually not offering anything emotion. It's like this offer is more about like like the well wait, there are two aces. There are three aces. Never mind. They're four. They're four. They're four. Well, these two I'm not worried about, but these two I am. It's like. Oh, no, shit, it doesn't matter. Because these two. These two. Okay. So now I'm looking at it a little bit better. Okay, so. Either the Ace of Wands or this Ace of Cups is wrong. Because, like, if I reverse this one. And that means someone is willing to put up the fight to come out of the cold and start something new. And you would be reverse too, Emperor. Emperor, and then you would be upright and actually in your power. But that would require you actually doing something. And as we see, you don't want to do anything. So, that's not going to happen, possibly. Right? At least not right at this point in time. With this reading. Whereas with this Ace of Pentacles, if it were reversed, it'd be a bad offer because this lack of closure that came with it, this abundance of really shitty feelings and regrets and feeling as though, like, you knocked over your own cups came up, the lack of wanting to actually work on anything, too give this offer a try that would have been accepted i think and i think that's the main problem with you my masculine i think you feel like you have no idea how you really think somebody else feels and with this ace of wands if it was reversed 
someone who would be insecure about all the nasty things they've done. And that's why they're stagnant with their burden. Which is right here. <laughs> you know, it's actually dragging more. Like here, it's very apparent. But here, it's worse than what it looks like. Because it's just bringing you down, masculine. Yeah, because it's a shitty... Oh, God, it's another freaking ace. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yep. Yeah. Someone is coming out of this illusion. Possibly a Cancer or a Pisces or whatever. Emperor. I feel like you're coming out of this illusion that a shit offer is going to work. That's, that, that's, in, yeah, I think it's going to, I think it's going to, <sighs> do you think that, I don't understand, like, are you just happy by yourself, or are you just, because I don't know if that's, um, Divine feminine or not. I mean, it's a senior card, sure. Or is this supposed to be a, like, I don't know, because it's like, I wasn't expecting the Queen of Pentacles right here. I mean, she's the senior, but it's kind of like, if that's the divine feminine, she should be the Empress or something similar. It's just weird that, like, Capricorn's court card is right there, and it's like they're coming out of like isolation, but it's like something isn't being manifested, or like, are you expecting this person who has been by themselves in their solitude to um emerge before you? Because like, yeah, that, that's that's definitely not going to work. Because you know. She's sitting in her chair. Why is she going to come? Like, she's a queen. Why would she come to you? Like, and she's chilling by herself. Why would she come bother you? Don't be crazy with that. You know, it, that's the divine feminine. She, she receives. You are the sender. She is the receiver. But not in the phone kind of way. Okay. Let's do this. And then I am going back. I'm sleepy. I might eat some dinner. Yeah, I'm actually, yeah, I'm gonna eat some fucking dinner. I'm totally eating dinner. I have fish. Fuck you. Let's see. Yeah, I think you want to come out of this um negative creation. This could also be Capricorn too. It's a devil card, but it's reversed. So it's like you're coming out of that um negative space where like two people were together and it just it was just bad it was like kind of like it was the wrong like when you guys were to, like it was cool but that's how you get sucked in like it's always great in the beginning and then it just it started going down this dark spiral where you're like I don't know, like, eating dinner out of, like, a dog pool because you want that, like, raw cocaine. I don't know. I'm just trying to make something up that sounds reasonable. Um, you're definitely trying to invest in what you feel is important to you at the Four of Pentacles, which I think is a good idea. Maybe focus on yourself a little bit. Or you're keeping this whole separation with this person quiet. And you're trying to avoid a tower moment. So I assume you're trying to keep it quiet. Good deal. Alright. So. Yeah. Thanks for watching the video. And you guys have a good night. Um, yeah. Have a good night. Night night.